Hello everybody and welcome to example B of seals design tutorial. This is also a single seal design however uh, it is a modified binder as denoted here with a bitumen rubbing in it. So we need to calculate our ELV in this example denoted over here and we come out to 22,000 which is going to intersect the 2.3 there is no 2.3 we round up to 2.5 you see the 2.5 so 22,000 intersecting 2.5 go to the top embedment is 2.15 2.15 intersecting the minimum line intersecting the 0.5 line why 0.5 because texture depth is given as 0.5 so it's 0.5 old and new and the two values are 0.7 and 0.8 respectively so we now go to the 10 graph how do I know it's 9 and 10? Because I'm told the ALD I'm wanting is 9.7. The ALD 10 graph, same embedment of 2.15. Go to the bottom. 2.15 intersecting minimum. 2.15 intersecting 0.5 gives me 0.7 and 1.08 respectively. So I've got two minimums of 0.7, so therefore my final interpolated value will also be 0.7. My maximum rate, why am I calculating it? Because this is not a lean seal environment. No policy there refers to lean seal. So I take my 0 0.8 and adjust it accordingly. These two values are the maximum values from 9 and 10 respectively. And I come out at 1 liters per meter squared. So I focus on the minimum here first. Add my texture depth as denoted in the question. And I multiply by these two factors. Now where do they come from? Uh, we want to just take you to the tables now. So first of all, I'm dealing with an SE2 binder. Here's my hot factor. I'm dealing with an S, uh, sorry, not an SE2. I'm dealing with an SR1. So there's my hot factor of 1.07. There is my modification factor for a single seal greater than uh, 20,000. So there's my 1.8. And... I'm instructing the question that I am to apply tolerance factor. So I've got a hot factor of 107, a, a modified factor of 1.8, and a tolerance factor of 1.05. So I come here, 1.8 is my modification, 1.07 there, and 1.05. So let's check this calculation. So I've got 0.7 plus 0.17 multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by 1.07 multiplied by 1.05. The answer is 1.76. And I check the maximum, which is also um, 1.17 multiplied by 1.8 multiplied by 1.07 multiplied by 1.05. 2.37 now with this example I focus on the minimum value and I recognize that I need a minimum of 2 because this is recognized as the industry minimum rate and all I then do is say that uh, that is the case so I will use a value at least a value of 2 to be able to cope the stone adequately. So then I now go and do my stone seal. Stone spread rate, apologies. I've got an ALD, just to check it out quickly. An ALD of, um, oh, where is it? Where's my ALD? I can't see it. Of 9.7. Hmm. Average least dimension of 9.7. Okay, no problem with that. Anyway, so 9.7. And what I want to do is I want to um, here. So now we want to read the um, stone spread rate, uh, 9.7 is approximately here, 
it'll be that line star and we intersect at this point so this will be 80 50 60 70 80 plus me 85 maybe 82 okay so let's make it 82 here we go so we calculate our stone spread rate we check our marks and our total is 15 thank you everybody and see you for the next example